the world the way it was seen now. South Korea, Italy, Iran, and places like that. The United States cannot be completely immune to that. The challenge is how we deal with it. And I can assure you all the resources that are necessary are going to be put into dealing with what we see evolving right now. And again, we'd be happy to answer any questions later, but Bob, do you want to say a few words? I also want to add my prayers and sympathy for those that are sick and obviously our citizens that unfortunately died last night. Currently, it said there's 22 cases in the United States, and these initial cases were really linked, linked to travel to China and, and their contacts. Recently, as was stated, we confirmed new cases with no link to travel history or contacts. And health departments, under the leadership of the states and local health departments supported by CDC, are aggressively evaluating these cases in California. isolation, contact tracing, and begin to do that to limit the further spread. I want to also add my emphasis to what was said, that as we stand here today, the risk of the American public remains low. As was said, we should anticipate more cases, but again, the current risk of the American public remains low.